Muwatali. Your empire stretches from the coasts of Arzawa in the west to the land of Canaan in the southeast, but such an empire breeds jealousy in foreign kings. In a betrayal of the agreement between you and his father, the Egyptian pharaoh Ramesses II has captured your vassal, the Amorite kingdom of Amuru in the land of Syria. In retaliation, you have raised the call to war among your allies. The kings and princes of 19 lands, among them Luka, Ugarit, and Karkamish, join you in the battle. The plain at Kadesh by the Arantu River will soon hear the thundering of your war chariots as if the storm god Tarhuna himself were beating the earth with his thunderbolts and battle axe. Alrighty folks, hello and welcome to the final scenario of the Reign of the Hittites campaign, Scenario 3, the Battle of Kadesh. This is a classic tug-of-war mission in which we need to bring the two war chests back to our city. Let's begin. So there are some tips and tricks with this one, as always. So what we're going to want to do... Grab the boys on gold. want to get as much wood production as possible. Boys on gold here. Alright. There it is. That as well. So what we want to do is uh, lure Ramses into a fight. I was actually going to lure them by attacking Red, but it seems they're going to attack me anyway. Which kind of works in my favour, to be honest. So I've got a few more farms at this point. The fact that the enemy is tucking into our towers is great. Should always fight enemies on our terms. Pushing into them, not a, not the decision we want to be making. Two more on gold. Since gold is a very vital resource that we will be needing. So we can't actually age up. So uh, age three is what we have to work with. Okay, so the first um, relic we want to capture is down south. So we're going to uh, poke the bear, being red, and then retreat. And again, fight them on our terms. So we're going to grab wood cutting and the wheel. The wheel will allow us to actually build chariots. And it's specifically chariot archers that we want. We're actually going to be building cavalry for our uh, melee. Stroke tanks. So Red losing most of its military, we should be able to pinch this artifact. Taking candy from a baby, as they say. Thank you. 
Next up, we want to grab a couple of calf. Build mostly um, chariot archers at this point on. Be careful not to put anyone off gold. archers or chariot archers specifically so the next uh, artifact located here the gimmick with this one ultimately is that the artifact is anchored by an axeman who's hidden behind the um, a couple of buildings so you can't actually get to him with melee units very cleverly put to stop a uh, Someone from speed rushing this particular mission, or speed running this mission. However, you kill the uh, anchor and you just end up speed running it anyway. So, hence why we've got all the archery ranges. We need to build horse archers to take care of the axeman, basically, single him out, snipe him. And then we've just got a couple of cavalry just to defend us whilst we uh, guise the uh, artifact back to our base. Yeah, ordinary, I'll, ordinarily I would actually attack red and then yellow attacks us in retaliation. But for this particular instance they decided they were going to attack me instead, which is fine. Same same scenario basically, we're going to lure them into our base anyway. I guess the angle of which they attacked us was a little bit different than I was expecting, but that's okay. okay. We've actually got more than enough to deal with what we want, so we've got two teams, team one and team two. Team two is all the horse archers, team one is all the melees, or cav. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to just run in, ignore the enemy, Snipe the Axeman and then cause some chaos. So this is the problem dude here, this Axeman. He's basically anchoring this artifact. So now, let me try and walk up. We can capture it. Guide out the city. There is a good path and a not so good path. We're actually going to go down here. Make sure the enemy doesn't... really do have to guide this thing. Leave it alone even against villagers and they'll start capping it. Got some uh, reinforcements coming just to secure. In the front, let me just guide it to our doors. Easy. Easy game, easy life. And that, my friends, is all she wrote for this campaign. Nice and straightforward victory. Like the storm god who slew the giant serpent Ilyanka with his thunderbolt, you drove the Egyptians before your chariots and turned them to dust and ash. In Egypt, the lamentations of the women will be heard for 40 days and there will be much gnashing of teeth. On the records of your people's history, kept within the archives at Hattusa, your name will be among the mightiest of Hittite kings, and your sons will carve your image into a great rock wall so that you will watch over your land for an eternity.
Alrighty, folks, well, that'll about do it for this scenario and the reign of the Hittites campaign. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.